Hi there, welcome to the Ladmix Farm channel. It's Arthur here. Today I'm taking you through setting up my pineapple garden. It's important that as you go into these kinds of ventures, you prepare yourself adequately to be able to sail through easily. But why pineapple? I chose pineapple because it has a good income, steady income once it matures. Uh, the only catch with it, of course, you know that it has to take approximately 20 months depending on the types of suckers you've planted to be able to start harvesting. It is less costly in managing. It is a hardy crop. Actually, once you start harvesting, if you look after your garden properly, you can harvest up to three times. Of course, when you start the harvesting period, it takes around three months as you harvest a particular acre of pineapple. But after the three months, you'll wait for another 11 or 12 months, then begin, you know, getting another harvest out of it. So it gives you steady income over a longer period of time. The demand is high because being a fruit, people like fruits. And so one cannot go wrong with these pineapples. A crop that many out there can also be able to add value to, especially uh, for the small cottage industries. It is a crop that one can easily go for to add value and make juices, make fruit platters and so forth. And people loving fruits, they'll be able to go into this so much. Those are some of the reasons I chose. And also here in where district where I am, it's a relatively new crop and therefore being able to support and sell some of these seedlings, the suckers to the people around so that we really increase the multiplication of this crop in this area because most of the pineapples we are eating here really comes out uh, from somewhere else. Preparing myself for the pineapple garden, I had to plow at least three times. Uh, if I take an example of a particular acre, because you know as you plant these pineapples, they need soft ground to be able to penetrate easily if it is to pick up very fast. One needs to plan for plowing the garden, which I did and an acre goes for around 90,000 shillings to be able to plow using a tractor or whether you are using oxen. So 90,000 you multiply that one by three times because the third round is when you do the harrowing and be able to level the ground so that you can be able to plant your crop. And then I went on to identify seed that is very very good because in an acre for my plant to put in 15,000 suckers, that's the amount you can really put if you're doing a spacing of 1.5 to 2 feet. That is 1.5 from one pineapple to the other within a line, one sucker to the other, and then from one line to the other, you make it 2 feet. You'll be able to take in 15,000 suckers. Now, accessing seedlings is one thing, but also the quality of seedlings matter. So I had to identify some farmers that have been working with, if I came into full-time farming, I had some contacts that I, would work, I was working with and was able to get these suckers because remember we need to be very careful as we identify these planting materials you don't want to regret after 20 months that your pineapple cannot be able to multiply quite easily or it's maybe giving an inferior fruit so where you identify the suckers matters a lot and for me I actually had to go an extra mile and transport my seedlings from very far much as there were closer regions with pineapples I could not trust uh, the kind of seed I would get from them but I had to go farther away double the journey to make sure that I get quality seed seedlings but of the variety that I feel that can give me good returns. Now the seedlings also of course vary from region to region. For instance you can plan for your seedlings because mine was buying it at around 200 shillings per sucker. So you can imagine an acre you'll be able to have around the 3 million shillings to be able to plant one acre. Now there are many varieties out there but for us here we chose uh, the smooth cayenne. It is the most preferred at least in the region but we have the other varieties that either are smaller in size or have different characteristics. They are oval in shape and so forth. But for me, having known what I wanted, I zeroed down on the smooth cayenne and it's what I am propagating on this particular farm. So be sure to know the kind of variety that you want. Once you go to any seed supplier, they may tell you they have suckers, but you find it's a mixed garden. And so you have a whole lot of mix in your garden and you will get disappointed when some fruits can become big and others are going to become small and therefore it can destabilize you, it can really demoralize you if you are not cool enough to take in as it comes. And then I was able to identify specialized liver. Being a, a new crop here, the community members here are not good at the crop. I myself was also just beginning to plant it, therefore I had to be keen on identifying the right labor to be able to plant uh, the pineapple, you know, the pineapple garden. And so this labor, I got it from the place where I went to identify the seedling and I think it cost me around 400,000 to be able to plant this particular acre. It is very tedious because once the truck pours, imagine 15,000 suckers, it will just dump them in one place in your compound. And so this cost involves carrying this bulky stuff and distribute it within the acre. It involves bringing, um, you know, a string and measuring. They have to really plant as they follow the string and with specialized labor and the, the way they, they have these small holes that they either shape when they come on your farm or they come with and are able to dig these holes as they measure. And it's very tedious because being short holes, 
they bend a lot, making sure that they are meticulous in their measurements. So it's a skill and it costs money. So I was able to part with that kind of money, of course knowing that I'll be able to calculate uh, the returns after. Remember these uh, pineapples take at least 18 to 20 months for you to start picking the first fruit. Now one would wonder that is too long for a farmer to wait, yes, but uh, we are calculate those ones to be approximately three seasons. Remember with the spacing of 1.5 feet from one pineapple to the other and two feet from one line to the other, you are able to intercrop because at that point the pineapple is still very young. So uh, what I did, I had to intercrop with the different crops that take three months. If you're out there, you can be able to intercrop, say, with maize. You can intercrop with uh, beans. Uh, for me, I did an intercrop of maize in the first season because at that point the pineapple is not yet really out there in the sun. So I was able, but you don't really squeeze uh, the crop that you're intercropping because you want also that the pineapple begins picking. So once you plant your maize, you'll be able to plant, harvest maybe eight to ten bags. And so you'll need around five kilograms of maize seed, for instance, if we had to take that as an example, to intercrop it in the pineapples. And if it's a variety I bought that costs around 20,000 a kilogram, a five kilograms that you need around 100,000. And therefore, and then you'll be able to harvest that during the first season. So much as you're not looking at the pineapple per se, you know that you have harvested the maize, and the maize will give you that additional income to help you look after this garden. And then in the second season, I now brought in beans because at this time I wanted a crop that does not grow tall so that I can give also as much as the beans are growing comfortably I want this time the pineapples to start accessing full sunshine so that they do not compete for sunlight like they were doing in the first season when I had planted maize because maize is a tall, is a tall crop and therefore you'll find the pineapples having a tendency of growing a little bit taller. When you space your maize and maybe three meters by three meters put a line after three meters, add one line, but also from one maze to the other, make it like three meters. So it's dotted maze in the garden. It looks a, quite a very beautiful garden once you look after it properly. And there, also the competition for the sun will not be too much, but the crop will be very healthy. So in the second season, I, I put in beans. And so as you look after the beans, I'm making sure that they, they are weed free. The pineapple is, of course, uh, weed free and therefore it starts growing vigorously. So when you observe that, you will notice that the first year you've not entirely lost. In the first season, you actually harvested some maize in the pineapple garden. The second season, you harvested some beans. For the beans, you can put in maybe around 20 kilos with a kilogram of beans costing around 5,000 shillings if you want to really get good seed. And then you can be able to get some additional income which you can sell off or even eat, but at least you know that you're not losing out entirely on the season on this particular spot that you have put in the pineapple. Now the third season, you actually continue heaping soils. Remember during the first season, even the second season, as you weed the other maize and as you weed the beans, you are weeding the pineapple and trying to add some soil along the line of the pineapple because you want them to be, be well anchored as they grow. Uh, they'll have a uh, fast growth and uh, you see the plant vigor when it is very good. Remember, beans also have another ad advantage of adding nitrogen in the ground. So all those help this crop to be able to grow well. Other people intercrop it with the uh, watermelon and other vegetables uh, which you can be able to harvest and make some additional income. And the other thing I had to identify, dedicated workers. Not just dedicated but skilled. But also you may not get the skilled one but because the skill comes in when you're planting. Once you've finished planting, you just want this garden to be clean. So somebody who's a hard worker, who can be able to weed properly, add soil molds along the pineapple garden to make sure that it is having enough soil to, to anchor well and the root can penetrate easily, that's what you need. But you keep on, of course, consulting people who have similar enterprises and be able to guide you how you can be able to improve on your crop as you journey along. So remember, it's going to take you approximately three seasons. So plan to have dedicated workers that you're going to be able to pay on a monthly from one month up till you finish 18 to 20 months. And here we will paying them uh, ranging between 180,000 to 200,000 per month. So in, a, in an, a garden like this, I had to put two people, much as not entirely that they are on the pineapple, they also do some little bit uh, of work elsewhere. But on this particular acre, I made sure that I put in two casual workers because I want to make sure that I look after the garden properly and get out the returns in the end. So with the 180,000 per month times two, uh, which is 360, is what you should be able to plan and set aside to pay your workers over this period of time. Uh, remember, much as you have some savings somewhere, you also get some income when you sell off the beans that you intercrop and the maize and be able to look after the garden properly. 
this labor is very key because if the pineapple is well looked after, it will be able to give you a superior crop. You've already done the right agronomic practice of spacing between 1.5 feet by 2 feet. But remember, much as you take three months to harvest the maize and also three months to get the beans, you may need some money that you have set aside to be able to pay the first two, three months. But also if you sell off the, uh, the maize and the beans and you leave some, of course, to feed the workers, you can then work out how much you really need to set aside. So that's what we've been able to do here. Moving on, I'll be bringing you updates, showing you how the crop is performing, the challenges we are facing so far, so that you can get an insight of what you're going through. But in an acre, imagine you've put in 15,000 suckers. If we give it a minimum price of 1,000 shillings per pineapple, if you are the only person in the region growing the, uh, the crop, you'll have to sell it way, way above that. But if in an area where there are so many people planting this crop, you'll be able to sell at least a good pineapple at 1,000. At times 15 suckers, that's around 15 million shillings. But if you're in a place where you're alone, imagine uh, you put in all um, this amount of money uh, as I've uh, broken it down, and you say sell your crop, uh, each fruit at 2,000. 2,000 shillings times uh, 15,000, you'll be able to get around 30 million shillings in a particular acre. This money, of course, comes bit by bit as you continue to sell as they ripen in stages. Which is also okay, it helps the farmer not have this crop at once and then flooding the whole community where you are. But if it's coming out in phases, it also helps you to see how you can move these pineapples at different locations in the community and be able to sell them off or get off takers from the nearby towns, reach out to hotels and be able to sell your fruit and be able to get this income and plan accordingly. If you feel this information helpful, please feel free to subscribe and as we bring more episodes, the different stages at which we are and the challenges. So look out for more videos that we shall be releasing. Uh, thank you so much.